when we are no longer able to change the situation, we're challenged to change ourselves. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hendrickson. And if you're brand new to this show, what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health, self-development, and how to get your life moving in the right direction, how to feel confident that even if you're not where you are, uh, where you want to be right now, that at least you're moving in the right direction and feeling like confident uh, in the sense that... uh, you know, you're not taking one step forward, two steps back. And if you are not new to this show, if you're a returning listener, if you're a returning viewer, uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening on your favorite podcast platform, uh, thank you for coming back and supporting the journey, supporting the show and supporting this movement of, uh, you know, making yourself better, making yourself stronger and along the way, lifting others up in the process. And whether you're brand new to this podcast or not, you are the reason that I do what I do. And so I thought we should just jump into this. Um, I had a uh, kind of a hectic week dealing with, uh, you know, work, dealing with coming back from camping and getting all caught up on on, uh, some of the stuff that we have going on with the renovation company, uh, getting more caught up on, you know, managing some sub trades and uh, dealing with insurance for uh, my truck and and, uh, tons of different things right now. I had a bit of a hectic week and, uh, you know, it was one of those weeks where I, uh, ended up working long hours you know, and, um, it would just kind of, I kept getting thrown curveballs, And I remember I was, um, you know, pretty calm during the week. I was pretty like focused and I was just kind of going through the motions, uh, doing my best to continue training, doing my best to continue working, doing my best to continue, um, you know, really just focusing on all of the things that I needed to take care of during the week so that come the weekend, I could sit down, I could be mindful, I could record this podcast with you guys because I was thinking about this topic throughout the week multiple times. And what I wanted to talk about today is understanding the state of mind that you're in, in the present moment and and kind of, um, you know, focusing on where your mindset's going to be the next day or the, or the following day or for the rest of the week. You know, sometimes we'll get into tough times and it's easy in those times to be weak. It's easy when you get stressed out, when you get um, in a tough mind state, a, ba- a bad mind state, when you're going through a tough time. Hold on one sec. We're going to take a sip of coffee. We're going to get present. We're going to get focused. We're going to get in the right mindset for this, okay? Um, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee real quick. That's just going to help me focus up. It's going to help me get present. And if you have a coffee or a water in front of you, let's take a sip of this together. If you don't have one of those things, let's take a breath together and just get ourselves in the mindset of growth and development. All right, I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, so um, I, I was just trying to think of this topic and I was trying to put words to how I was feeling, but it was basically thinking about anticipating, you know, how you feel in the present moment and also anticipating how you're going to feel in the next couple of days, in the next week or so, um, and understanding your mind state and understanding how you operate within that mind state. And hopefully, you know, that's not too obscure right now. But as I dive into this topic, I think that it's going to be less and less obscure and more and more understandable and digestible for you to understand. And so what I was thinking about is because I had this stressful week, I was knowing that, you know, some of my vices when I get stressed are, you know, eating things I shouldn't be eating, not sleeping properly, stressing out, not doing the work that I need to be doing, maybe looking for a dopamine rush on YouTube, looking looking for, um, 
you know, trying to find some some uh, some peace or safe haven and scrolling through the the social media feeds and just basically becoming distracted and and looking for exterior dopamine rushes uh, throughout my day and just trying to, you know, essentially perform some sort of act of escapism to get out of the stressful time that I'm in right now and distract myself. And, and basically the, the idea I was thinking of is, you know, when I, as I'm entering kind of a more stressful week, it's more important for me to stay focused and, and stay disciplined and stay present and to just take each day at a time. Sometimes it's just take each hour at a time or just take each task at a time and not to get so stressed out that you just kind of say, fuck it. I'll get to this tomorrow. I'll get to this later. I'll, I'll do this when I have a bit more time. Understanding that when you do have a busy, stressful week, maybe you're feeling depressed, maybe you're feeling anxious, maybe you're feeling like no matter what you can do, there's no moving forward. So it can kind of feel like, you know, there's no hope. You basically just trying to, you, you start to mentally give up before you physically give up. And it's important when you, you know, enter those stressful times to understand your mindset and, and anticipate some of the vices you're going to be reaching towards. And now I know for myself, when I get stressed out, when I get angry, when I get anxious, when I get all of those negative emotions, I start to go towards some of the habits that I've had in the past, you know, overeating, over consuming social media, uh, distraction from the work that I need to do now. And, and like I said, it's kind of just an escapism mindset of just like, I don't want to think about my life right now. I don't want to think about what I'm going through. I just want to distract myself and I want to feel good. And going through this week, every single day, I was just telling myself, like, I just need to stick to the basics. I need, I need to make sure I get done what I need to get done. Eat a healthy time. Eat, eat a healthy amount of healthy food. And, and not to um, overindulge, overconsume in, in foods that I shouldn't be eating. I need to stay focused and make sure I get my work done. I need to get a good amount of sleep and make sure that I'm resting properly so that my body and brain can heal from, from what it's going through right now and anticipating my weaknesses, anticipating my own vices. And I think that, you know, when we go through something, say you get in a car accident, you have, a, you have an issue at work, you have an issue with your loved one, you have an issue with, you know, X, Y, or Z, you have an issue in your life anticipating how you're going to be feeling about it because you know obviously we're all human and and these things kind of linger in our brains sometimes and it's easy to say you know you can control your own thoughts you can control your own etc whatever but at the end of the day we are all human and these things do impact us you know uh, it'll keep us up at night it'll keep our, our brains you know worrying all day and it's easy to wake up in the morning with that anxiety thinking about that thing that's bothering you and just understanding that, okay, I'm just going to take this day by day, task by task, and I'm going to make sure that I get done what I need to get done today. And all, not only anticipating what you need to get done, but what you need to avoid and what you tend to gravitate towards during your hard times. Because I know that for myself, like I said, I have my own vices that I gravitate towards during hard times that, that bring me that little comfort, that bring me that little dopamine rush, that bring me that little bit of, uh, you know, escapism, for lack of a better term. I know I've been using it a lot during this episode, but understanding not only what you need to get done, but also understanding what you need to avoid to do, you know, um, for lack of a better term, you know, for because... For me, I know because of journaling, I know what my vices are. I know where my brain is going to gravitate towards and, uh, and start to uh, want to do. I know some of the habits and the addictions and the vices that my brain is going to want to indulge in. And I think that it's important to maybe mentally prep yourself for that battle because you, you know that during the day... Um, you know, you are your own best salesman. And so you're going to start to sell it to yourself. Like, okay, it's okay to do it this one time. You're having a rough day. You're having a tough week. You're having a tough month. You're ha maybe having a tough year. And it's okay to just call it quits today because you deserve a break. 
You know, you're going through this hard time and you deserve a break. And you start to go through these justifications in your brain. You start to actually sell yourself on the idea that it's okay to fall back into these vices that you've fallen into for comfort in the past. And when you wake up in the morning and you write down in your journal or you just meditate or you think or whatever you do to prep yourself for your day, um, hopefully you have a routine like that. If you don't, I would recommend starting one probably right after you listen to this episode. Um, I would say think about some of the vices that your brain is going to want to do. Think about some of the vices that are going to feel intriguing for you. Uh, that, that maybe you've fallen into in the past and prep yourself for those battles before they come. And that way, when you feel that feeling, you know, for example, like, oh, I want to have this sugary snack. I want to have this quick food. I want to have this. Maybe I just want to sit here and indulge and, and uh, eat this entire bag of chips, you know, whatever it could be for you. Um, I'm just kind of speaking from a personal space at that point, but you know, prep yourself for that battle of when your brain's going to start to justify and sell you on the idea of falling into vices that you've had in the past that bring you quick comfort, but you know are going to be to your detriment and pull you further away from where you actually want to be in life. Prep yourself for those mental battles before your day even starts. Maybe think about it the night before. Say, hey, I had a rough day today. Tomorrow's probably going to be rough as well. What are some of the ways that my brain is going to try and trick me into falling into my past habits? What are some of the ways that I can prepare myself mentally for the battles to come tomorrow? And think about how you can prime or prep your brain to overcome those and and think, okay, when I think this thing, I'm going to overcome it by telling myself this. And you're, you're... going to prep yourself for that battle. It's the same way we train for anything. And to be 100% honest, your your tough times are your training periods. That's, you know, everyone can be disciplined and motivated when they first start something. Anyone can be disciplined and motivated when things are going well, when things are going good, when the but when the going gets tough is when we start to fall into our past habits. And um that's what you're training for is for those times where your brain's going to try and justify, you know, falling into these, um, these bad habits. And I think that, uh, it's important to kind of think about these things before they happen, as opposed to just relying on the fact that, Hey, uh, I'm, I'm disciplined. I'm mentally tough. I can overcome it when it arises. I think that that's the, the mindset that pulls us all into, um, into the justification phase, into our our mental justification phase where we think, okay, I'm going to do this when the time comes. And then the time comes and we're unprepared for it mentally or physically. And then it overpowers us and we fall back into indulgence. We fall back into our our old ways. And I think that um, that that training period, that that mental preparation is, is the difference between somebody who can, you know, understand... It's kind of like one of those things where you think about, you know, there there's the, the thinker and the observer. And sometimes we are all the thinkers and we just think these thoughts and then we just do whatever thoughts come to our brain. And I think it's important to put on both hats and sometimes be the observer and say, oh, I'm observing myself think this and it's okay to think that it's okay to, you know, think about doing something like that, uh, to fall back into past habits or to fall back into past addictions or to pick up new addictions and pick up new vices and, um, just to, to differentiate between just thinking that and then doing it and observing yourself think that and say, Oh, my brain's thinking about falling into this past habit. I must be going through a tough time right now. And so what are some other ways that I might have weaknesses that I need to overcome? What are some other ways that I might uh, have some flaws in my thought patterns that are going to pull me off course? And to observe those thoughts and say, it's okay to have those thoughts self. That's your self dialogue there. It's okay to have those those thoughts, but I'm not going to act on them. Instead, when I have that thought, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do, instead of doing this, I'm going to do that. 
you know, and come up with a contingency plan. When I think about I'm going to have a, a, a sugary snack or overindulge and eat too much and then later on feel guilt and regret, when I think that initial thought, I'm going to have a good meal, I'm going to go for a run, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you think about having a contingency plan for yourself and uh, understanding what state of mind you're actually in. And this can be, you know, said for good times or bad times. Like that quote, you know, they talk about, you know, uh, good times create weak men, weak men create hard times, hard times create uh, good men, and good men create good times, or something like that. Strong men or whatever, whatever the quote is, you know, this doesn't just apply to when you're going through a stressful time. Sometimes when we're going through good times, when we're going through times that are just like, uh, you know, we have no problems at all, it's easy to think, oh, times are always going to be like this. And it's okay if I, you know, indulge a little bit more. You know, no matter what, I feel like our brain is always trying to tell us to indulge, whether we're going through a good time or not. Uh, you know, when we're going through tough times, we, we justify it to ourselves and tell ourselves, hey, you deserve a break. You deserve this. And then when you're going through good times, realistically, the justification is the exact same. You're like, hey, times are good. You deserve a break. You deserve a rest while you have the chance. And the one thing I'm noticing while I kind of observe these thoughts in my own brain when I, when I journal about these things and when I think about these things um, is that our brain is always trying to tell us that we deserve breaks. And I think that even though sometimes that is true, sometimes we do work ourselves to the bone, I think that a lot of us are still cutting ourselves short. We're still, you know, calling it quits a little bit too early. And I think that some of us, you know, and, and that's myself included, I think that some of us, you know, tell ourselves that we need to take breaks when we're just about to get the reward from what we've been working towards so hard. And I think that that's what holds a lot of us. And, and like I said, this includes me as well. It, 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 that's what holds us back from, you know, getting what we're seeking to achieve. And so I just wanted to kind of give this reminder to remind yourself uh, and to remind myself to observe what state of mind you're in in the present moment. And think about, you know, am I stressed? Am I, you know, in a good time? Am I in a bad time? Am I anxious? Am I depressed? And when I feel those things, you know, what are some of the ways that my brain will try and trick me to pull me off task, to pull me further away from my goal and to, and to um, you know, suck me back into my old ways? And so I just wanted to kind of share this this uh, thought or this process, this thought process with you guys and just kind of um, give you a reminder to think about what state of mind are you in right now and what are some of the ways that your brain will trick you into uh, falling into past habits based on the state of mind that you're in right now and to, uh, and, and to uh, read you a couple quotes as well. Those are the two things I wanted to do during this episode. And so... Um, I'll start with one of the stoic quotes that I've been reading this week, um, you know, because I love stoic philosophy. It's an Epictetus quote. He says, that's why the philosophers warn us not to be satisfied with mere learning, but to add practice and then training. For as time passes, we forget what we learned and end up doing the opposite and to hold opinions opposite of what we should. And so it's one thing to just, you know, hear these ideas, hear these thought processes. Maybe you listen to this podcast often. Maybe you listen to other podcasts and you hear about, you know, oh, this is a tactic I can use. This is a thing I can do. Uh, I can start to journal. I can start to read. I can start to meditate. I can start to be mindful. I can start to think about, you know, how my brain operates. You can hear all these things and uh, you learn it because you hear it. But like I was talking about earlier, it's important to use these things and learn these things and then actually practice and train yourself for these things. And so a lot of the times when we're talking about mental health and, and some of these practices, it can sound obscure. There's no like tangible thing that you have to do. Um, I mean, I can tell you, you have to write it down in your journal. You have to talk to your phone and record it and listen to it later or um have this tough conversation there, there, there is some tangibility to those actions but when i'm telling you 
and, and telling myself, reminding myself and, and you as well as you listen to this to think about, you know, where, where your mindset's going to be in the next coming days and to think about some of the vices that you might have in the future as well, that your brain is going to want to gravitate towards, you know, there's not a lot of tangibility behind that. And that's what the training is actually for. That's what your, that is the training in and of itself is to, to train yourself to observe your thoughts and to observe where your mind is at and, and what weaknesses it has. And, um, you know, maybe you are going through a tough time right now. Maybe you are going through a stressful time. And I know that it's okay. You know, whatever you're going through right now, it's going to be okay. And it's okay to have a stressful week. It's okay to feel run down. It's okay to feel tired. Um, you're human. And and I've had a stressful week, to be 100% honest. I've, I've been uh, going through a little bit of stuff right now. But I know that, you know, by the grace of God, it's going to be okay. And, and um I know that it's not going to be okay on my time. There's sometimes there's um sometimes there's just nothing you can kind of do to force things to be good right now. Sometimes you have to just operate within faith and say, "Hey, I know things are looking down right now. Uh this went wrong or that went wrong or this person got mad or I got mad." And understand that you know, as time passes, uh, as long as you stay disciplined and you stay, um, you know, working on the things you need to work on and, and uh, work on yourself and stay vigilant to some of the vices that are going to creep up in the back of your brain and come up with a contingency plan to overcome those things, you know, sooner and sooner, closer and closer you'll get to those tough times becoming a little bit tough. And then they'll become okay times. And then they'll become better times. And then they'll become good times. And then they'll become great times. And when they do become great times, not to fall back on those past habits that, you know, made those tough times for you in the first place. And so uh, the second quote I want to sh- uh, share with you is a Viktor Frankl quote. Uh, he says, when we are no longer able to change the situation, we're challenged to change ourselves. And, and that's exactly what I've been thinking about and talking about this entire episode. Um, changing your thought patterns, changing the way that you observe those thought patterns and not just become victim to thinking those things and then acting on those things when you think them, but actually becoming the observer of those thoughts and thinking, no, I'm not going to do that thing that I've always done. That's what old me would have done. But today I woke up as new me. And new me doesn't do those things because new me is going to be taking a step closer to newer me, which is going to be future me. And future me looks like this. Future me looks like like this and has these things and has these skills. And though I may not have those things and I may not have those skills yet, I know that there's something that present me can do to get closer to future me, the future me that I desire to be. And so that's my little reminder for you guys today. As you start your week or as you go through your week, whenever you're listening to this episode, is to just think about... um, to think about who you want to be in the future and then uh, what you can do today to get yourself a little bit closer and think about, you know, maybe think about your past self and what you didn't like about your past self and understand that it's okay that you fell into those vices before you were, you were still learning. You can't be upset about what you didn't know while you were still learning. But if you think about what got you to the places where you were not so happy about, and think about when am I going to want to do those things again and avoid those things. So I think that's a beautiful place to wrap this up. Uh, we're coming close to 30 minutes and I didn't think that I'd be recording for this long to just talk about such a, you know, it seems like an obscure but simple concept of just understanding when your brain is going to want to gravitate towards your your own weaknesses and and, and to not fall into those vices. 
But uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, we still do have the uh, mental health hikes starting up now. The, the weather's getting a lot better. We've been going on you know, nature walks and hikes. Uh, we do have mental health group calls as well. So if you want to get involved in that mental health group, uh, we do have daily conversations on Telegram. We do have weekly meetups in person. And uh, we do a lot of fun things and getting closer and closer to the summer, we're going to be doing even more fun things. And so if you want to get involved in that group, reach out to me on on Instagram. It's at Risen Fallen. And uh, if you want to grab one of the hoodies or tees and and support the cause, then uh, you can get that at risenfallen.com. Other than that, uh, I think that's the only housekeeping that I have to be doing. I've been trying to do as many interviews for you guys as possible recently. So uh, we're still going to be pumping those out. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you have a good week. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you have a time to uh, spend with your loved ones. And, and to, uh, you know, I hope you guys stay vigilant and stay diligent on, uh, on what you need to do. And I'm going to do my best to do the exact same. So thank you very much for listening to this. I'm very grateful for you guys. I'm very grateful for everybody listening to this. Um, Much love and peace out. Bye.